Let's go guys, it's my old TV, Team R4UL, your favourite YouTube mechanic, back again and I've got the heater back on as you can see there, right, and the noise is back again, tick 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 you know what I'm saying, winter is here and the noise is back again. But anyway, we're going to make do with, with the noise and everything, we're going to do a Mazda 2 clutch today, it's a 1.4 petrol, we're going to go ahead and replace the clutch, Mazda 2 2014, I mean, if it's, 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 like a, uh, it's like a Fiesta, if I've done a Fiesta, it's pretty much the same, similar car, Similar gearbox, similar engine, engine train and everything. Um, yeah, gearbox train is pretty much similar to a Ford Fiesta. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's do it. Okay, first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take the battery off. Basically take that off, that off 10 mil. Take that off and take that off. That should come off, battery should come off. Let's go ahead and do that and we'll go from there. Right, battery is out of the way. What we can do is, next thing what we can do is, we can take these three off, this one, this one, and this one. And then what we can do is, you see these wiring plugs and everything, wiring looms and everything. You just clip here, another cable tie here, another one there. Just basically, we, main objective is take the battery tray off. Let's go. One there. One there. Another one there. So you see that's starting to move out of the way. We'll move that out of the way. Get all these wires, everything out of the way. And we'll go from there. Right, the battery is out of the way. Battery tray is out of the way. We're going to take this cover off, this panel off here. Uh, 10 milli nuts here, one, two, three, take them off, that should come straight off. Go guys, let's go. One there. Another one there, and another one here. Right, now that's out of the way, we can gain access there, no problem whatsoever. If you want to make your life even easier, go ahead and take the air filter box off. This one here, if you want to, I'm not going to go ahead and take that off. I can't be bothered with that. Uh, less things to take off. The more less you take off, the more less work you have to do. Simple. So what we're going to do now is we'll move this out of the way. Just pull that off there. Get all these plugs off. Basically, they should just come straight off. Uh, if you want, we'll just take the bracket off here. This one and this one. Okay, guys, I've missed a little step here because uh, you guys don't need to see everything. Obviously, I've cut that cable tie off there. These wires and everything, I've just took them off there, off the hangers there. So we're going to take this plug off. That's one off. Another one off here. Let's try and do this with one hand. There we go, that's another one. Put that wiring loom out of the way. That can drop down there. Drop down there, basically. Right, so now what we're going to do is we'll put some oil or spray or WD-40, whatever, on these linkages. Let's take the linkages off. We'll take the bracket off from there. One there, another one there. Looks like 12 millis or 13 millis. Take them two off. That linkage bracket should move out of the way. And we'll go from there. Okay guys, now that the linkages are out of the way, I've tied it up, the cable tied there. There was a bracket there, 12 millis, two bolts there. Took them off, that bracket comes out of the way. It's on the floor, as you can see there. We make it out there, it's on the floor. Right, what we'll do is before we get to the bell housing, the bell housing bolts and the starter bolts and things like that, there's this pipe here. Goes right across the uh, gearbox, which on a Fiesta and things like that, it's not there. I don't, I haven't seen it. Um, but on this one, um, it is there. So what we need to do is we need to take this pipe off. So basically it goes this way, this way and onto there. So we'll have to take that off there. And from here, there's two bolts there. 10 millis, one there and one there. Take that off, take them two off, go around to here. There's another 10 milli bolt there. Take that off, and then hopefully this pipe should come off and we can gain access to the bell housing bolts. Let's go. Basically, we're going to take them two 10 milli bolts off, get a spanner in there. I've used a 10 milli spanner. Basically we took one off as you can see there, take the other one off, and we'll go from there. Right, so those two 10 millivolts are off, as you can see there. 
this one's off here as well that bracket in the middle there so we're just left with that pipe there so we'll get a 22 mil spanner on there I know you might be thinking it's come off so easily it wasn't tight anyway to begin with and I've cracked it in the first place so take that off as you can see that that's all freestyling that will come out I'm just gonna maneuver it out yeah and we'll go from there okay as you can see here I've took the pipe off this pipe is totally off I had to take this pipe off as well this rubber pipe here this hose pipe here because I couldn't get the metal pipe off so anyway I took it off and then put it back on again just got the pipe you know out and then put that pipe back on so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in here as you can see there one bell housing bolt there another one there starter motor bolt there another starter motor bolt there so we'll take one off here 14 milli there 14 milli there and that's uh, 19 or a 17 mil we'll take that off as well take that 17 mil or 19 mil off and then that's it that's the top end of the gearbox done besides the mountain guys we'll leave the mountain on until last okay we'll take that off absolutely last so we don't need to uh yeah so that way it's supporting the engine so yeah let's go ahead and take them bell housing bolts off starter motor bolts off let's go Okay guys, everything is off on the top. We've got the bell housing bolts off, the starter motor bolts are off. We've even slackened these, as you can see there. The mounting bolts are slackened, but we're not gonna take them off totally. So what we'll do now is we're gonna send the car up on the ramp. If you're doing it on the floor, make sure it's nice and safe. You don't want the car falling on you. So I'm gonna send it up, take the wheels off, and tackle the bottom. Basically take the ball joints off, drive shafts off, things like that. Let's go, let's do it. Okay, send the car up on the ramp. I've already took this ball joint off. This was an aftermarket one, so I'm not going to go there. Right, you had a 17 milli bolt, 17 milli nut on that one, so we're going to gloss over that. Most likely, you're going to have one of these on it. A 14 milli bolt, okay, nut and bolt. We're going to take the 14 milli off. Basically, it should have a 14 milli. If it's original, it'll have 14 milli. If it's an aftermarket, most probably will have a 17 mil or a 16 mil, something like that. Let's take that off. You need a socket and ratchet. Let's go. Right, ball joints are off, as you can see there. That's got red to come off. All, well, all we do is just pull it down. That should come off. Same on this side. If I give that a pull down, that will come off. We'll drain it before we do anything else. Drain the gear oil, because you don't want gear oil all over the shelf. I mean, if you take the ball joint off, if the drive shaft pops out, then obviously you're going to get gear oil all over the shelf. So basically, we just uh, undo that 24 mil to undo there. Refill it in there. Drain it through there. Let's go. Right, ball joints are off, as you can see, that's off. That one's off, it's all drained as well. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the drive shaft off. We don't need to take it off totally, completely. We're not gonna take the center nut off. All we're gonna do is take these four, sorry, three bolts off. These three here, as you can see there. One, two, and three. Take them three off, and then the drive shaft will move towards that side. We can, out of the gearbox. As soon as it comes out of the gearbox, we can rest it against that. That's it, happy days, that's out of the way. And for this side, we'll just pry that side off. Yeah, let's get these drive shafts off. Okay, drive shafts are totally out. That one's out, that one's out. We'll go ahead, take the slave cylinder off. I've already cracked it, 12 mil, take that one off. Take that one off. Okay, slave cylinder is out of the way. I mean, if you there's two ways or three ways to do this. Either you can take the mountain off totally from the top, let it drop onto this one, and uh, all you have to do is just make sure these pipes and everything are not connected so you don't rip the pipes off. Or if you want, you can put a frame on the top kind of thing. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to send it down, take all the bolts off on the mountain, but leave one on, finger tight kind of thing. So then uh, lift the car up, take that one off, get the lifter here, and then basically go from there, take it off. Right, let's go. Like I mentioned, there's so many ways to do it. If you want, you can drop the engine. If you drop the engine, make sure you take all these pipes, everything off. You don't want to crack the radiator while you're doing it. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take 
most of the nuts off on the top. So basically, I've already started taking that off. Move that out of the way. Got a spanner onto that. 17 milli spanner. Take that off. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one on. Okay, it's slack. As you can see, it's finger tight kind of thing. Okay, leave this one on and leave one of these on. Okay, so basically leave this one on and I'll leave this on. Take that off. Take that one off down there as well. So basically what I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send it up after I've taken that one off and taken this one off. Send it up. From the bottom, I will take the, this nut off, this one off as well and get the mountain off. After getting the mountain off, basically um, it's plain sailing. We're going to take the bottom mountain off, the stabilizer uh, mountain off, and uh, bellows and bolts off, and uh, take this gearbox out. Right, so there we have it. That bolt, that nut is off. That one's off. That one's off down there. This one is on, but obviously finger tight. That one's on as well, finger tight. We're going to send the car up on the ramp, uh, get a lift on there, take them two off. We'll go from there. Okay, send the car back up. Uh, I mean, we can just leave that there for, for a minute. What we'll do is we'll take all these off, all the bellowsing bolts off, except for one, which is this one here, the 17 mil. We'll leave that on. All these 14 mil, this one, this one, this one, even this 17 mil around this side here. I've already cracked them. You might be thinking, how am I taking them off with my fingers? But I've already cracked them, ready to come off. There's another one in there, as you can see there buried right in there so we'll have to take that off as well not the easiest one to get to but we will have to get to that one so yeah so another 14 up there this one here there's one here there's one here one there one there and one there let's take them off and we'll go from there Right, all the bell housing bolts are off besides this one. Right, and we've got the uh, engine supported here. We've also got that mount in there. We've not taken that off. So what we're going to do is them two nuts on the top, which I can get my fingers to it, just there. The one there. Remember, I've already slackened them. Make sure you slacken them. Make sure you loosen them all the way. But don't take them off from the top, that is. So there's one there. Other one there as well. Another one there. It was there. I've just dropped it, but don't worry, it's there. If I go like that, it will be there. There we go. Right, and that's it. We're going to drop the the gearbox lift, the engine lift. Drop that down. Hopefully, the gearbox will come down. When it comes down, we'll take this one off, and then that's it. Ready to come off. The gearbox should come straight off. Right, there we have it, that mountain is totally off. What we'll do now is we'll take this mountain off, the st center stabilizer mountain, take that off. I mean, dead, dead easy to take that. 14 millis, one here, there, one, two, three, and this one here, take that off. That totally moves out of the way. Uh, one more there, sorry, one more there as well, forgot to mention that. 14 millis, take that, take that off, and then that's it, ready to take the gearbox out. Okay guys, I've took the mountain off. I mean, I'm just gonna leave it like that. If you want, you can take it off totally. It's entirely up to you. What we're gonna do now is last bolt here, 17 milli on the bell housing. Make sure you secure it. Make sure you, you know, um, use the jack on there because if you release this, it's gonna come totally down and then you're gonna mess everything else up. So two man job. I'm gonna put the camera down, take this bolt off, right? And put the camera down and basically take this gearbox off. Two man job, just take it out. Right, there we have it. Gearbox is off on the floor. There's the clutch. What we're going to do now is there's the clutch release bearing. That will just come straight off like that. Okay. Okay, to take it off, I don't think you need to hold the crank pulley because you're going to go clockwise anyway. All right, if you look at it, you're going to turn it this way. The engine's going to turn clockwise. So you don't need to hold it. When we come to tighten it up, make sure you hold the crank pulley or at least jam the flywheel or make sure the main objective is we don't want the flywheel to go backwards, okay? Or the, uh, the timing chain to go anti-clockwise. That way it's, it might jump, uh, mess everything up. 
we don't want to do that make sure you jam it up or make sure you hold it at least all right let's take these off 14 mils one two three four five and six take them off make sure it doesn't drop on your toes as well hold it firmly let's go Okay guys, I've got the bearing on there. I mean, there's nothing really to it. Basically, it just hooks onto the fork there and that's about it. Okay, that's on. Let's get the clutch on. For the clutch, I'm using the LUK clutch. Like you mentioned there, as you can see there, there is a clutch lining up tool for this, but I don't have it, okay? Uh, basically, I'm old school, okay? So I'm gonna go with feel. So gearbox side, as you can see there, it says gearbox side. Make sure you put, put that one on the gearbox side. Let's get this clutch on. Okay, like I mentioned to you guys, like I've shown you guys, it does have a clutch lining up tool on the box. As I showed you guys on the box, you can put the clutch lining up tool on. That's the proper way to do it, but I don't have that tool. So old school, we're gonna do old school. I put all these screws on, bolts on, sorry. Put all these bolts on, finger tight kind of thing. Then I put my fingers in there, measure it here from the, uh, from the pressure plate to the friction plate to the flywheel as you can see there measure it here same on the top here measure it there measure it there get a feel for it okay but if you've got the clutch lining up tool i'd recommend you use the clutch lining up tool if not i feel it there on the edge feel it there on the edge if it's pretty much the same that will do the job as you can see it has a bit too much on this side so i'm going to move it so you want to put these on finger tight so at least you can move the clutch plate can you see that i can still move it but it's not loose okay so then that way you can adjust it accordingly. Let's go. Okay guys, I've got the clutch back on there. To tighten it up, if you want to go with the proper torque specs and everything, I mean, if you want to, you can do that. I never do, I'll be honest with you. I just get the big ratchet. Okay, the half inch ratchet, give it some, make sure I hold it on the other side, on the crank pulley side. So basically I'll hold it on that side or my brother will hold it on that side and I'll go tighten it up here. But we don't want it to go anti-clockwise because we don't want the timing chain to jump or anything. If you've got the proper tool for it, you can get a locking tool, it locks it up there basically. But I, yeah, I'm old school, I don't have it. So I'm just gonna tighten up on these. If you want the proper torque settings, go on auto data, check the torque settings out. But just do them tight, it should be, it should be all right, it should be good to go, let's go. Okay guys, we've got the gearbox in there. Obviously you need two people, to, I mean, if you're strong enough, you can do it yourself, put it in by yourself, but I wouldn't recommend it. Two people job, it'll be a lot easier. So what, we've got all the bellows and bolts on, they're not 100% tight, I'm gonna go through them again after, don't worry about that. We've got the mounting on there. Okay, it's loose, it's not 100% tight, finger tight kind of thing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jack it up. Can you see them two holes there? Line it up to them two holes, get them two on, then that way the engine and gearbox is secure, can't fall off kind of thing. Let's do that. Right, so as you can see there, I've got the jack on there, the gearbox lift on there. Right, so I'm gonna jack it up. Hopefully it should line up. This thing is on a rubber, so it should move. So if you have to move it, just move it a little bit. There we go. Boom. So we've got the nuts here as well. You can easily get to the nuts from here. You don't need to tighten them up, just finger tight kind of thing, that'll do. Same with this one as well. Another one there. Right, so them two are on, finger tight, they're not 100% tight, obviously, and then we'll send it down, tighten them up, let's go. Right guys, the mountain is on there. I've already put, I've put this mountain on as well, secure everything. We're gonna put all the bellows and bolts on, drive shafts on, ball joints on, finish everything off underneath. 
get the slave cylinder back on and that's it finish uh, finish the bottom off we'll send it down finish the top off all in reverse order let's do it okay guys everything is on underneath we've got the ball joint on we've got the wheel on on this side this ball joints on the drive shafts are on all the bellows and bolts are tight everything in reverse order we're gonna get the starter motor on that's from the top basically get some oil in there gear oil in there that's about it mountain is on let's get some gear oil let's go okay guys everything is done underneath as you know all the drive shaft everything's done underneath we put all the uh, gear oil in everything's done okay what we're gonna do now is remember these we're gonna tighten up on the mountain here get the linkages back on bellows and bolt, bolts back on the starter motors uh, uh, starter motor bolt back on all the brackets everything basically finish it off in reverse order let's go I'm falling behind let's do it guys that's it clutch all done Mazda 2 1.4 petrol the clutch is done dead easy it's not the hardest job in the world one of the easiest clutches uh, I hope this video helps you guys out I know I rushed the refit I didn't really I didn't really show you guys how to refit it but if you can take it off it's all in reverse order just fit it in reverse order that's all um, well anyway I hope this video helps you guys out if it didn't help you guys out I'm sorry try my best Please like, share and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button for me, leave a comment in the comment section, Raul TV, Team R4UL, your favourite YouTube mechanic, we'll see you guys next time.